Welcome back, everyone, to Bay Sunday. My next guest is considered the best-selling relationship author of all time, selling more than, get this, 50 million copies of just one book. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. And he's back with us now with a new book called Venus on Fire, Mars on Ice, Hormonal Balance and the Key to Life, Love and Energy. And here to talk about the connections between hormone levels and happiness is John Gray. And John, welcome to Bay Sunday. Well, good morning. It's All a right. pleasure to be with you. I love this title, Venus on Fire, Mars on Ice. I mean, this could describe my husband and me about, uh, you know, every couple of weeks or so. That, <laughs> you know, my other self comes out and he runs into the base. <laughs> It's up. What is it about these hormones? Well, as we're getting older, we start noticing big differences between the hormone systems of women and men. And it's how we cope with stress. And there's a hormone called oxytocin. And it lowers stress for women. But it just makes men sleepy. So men don't instinctively do the things that will lower stress for women. We often do the opposite, not knowing. And men need a hormone called testosterone to cope with stress. And the easiest way for a man to rebuild his testosterone levels, and men need to make 30 times more to be healthy and have energy, 30 times more than women, is he needs to work hard, and then when he comes home, he has to relax his muscles. That's why men will grab the couch. They go for the couch. And women can't relate to this. Women are right in their face going, what'd you do today? That's here's right. what they I did today. Talk, <laughs> they want to interact. But if the man can relax his muscles after using them all day, then he rebuilds his testosterone. It's part of his health cycle. And women don't have that cycle at all. Men need to make 30 times more testosterone than women. Okay, so note to Sydney: leave George alone when he comes home from work. When he needs helps? to. So okay. a certain period of time. And also what he needs to know is, lots of affection women it was, see men think big things like okay I'm gonna give her three dozen roses for Valentine's and that's Day fine that's, that should be that it. should do it for the year and it, that's like not the way it works for women it's lots of little things the little thing here little thing affection hugs and why this would help men make sense of it is it stimulates this hormone called oxytocin and that's often called the bonding hormone the trust hormone the love hormone it puts women in a good mood and it most importantly helps her cope with stress because when she's coping with stress then she will be healthy and happy. You know, you, you come up with a, an interesting term. I mean, women, of course, you know, you think of menopause, but you came up with the term menopause. Well, men are on pause, too. That's what happens. For women, it's sudden in their 40s, sometimes 50s. But for men, it's gradual. From 35 on to 60, men's testosterone levels are declining. And they don't have to. That's the good news in this book. People don't have to take hormones. People don't have to suffer the symptoms of hormonal imbalance or hormonal deficiency. In there, I talk a bit well about superfoods from different yeah, cultures. Yeah, let's talk about nutrition a little bit because you get into that and, it, and, and the older now. we both get, yeah, that's something that's important. Difference. So what, what kind of, uh, you know, I just, when we talk about superfoods and nutrition. Well, everybody's using the term now superfoods, but these are real superfoods because they help balance the hormone and make a huge difference. Things like raw chocolate, raw cacao, Okay, incredible for women's brain to produce serotonin. When you say serotonin. raw, now where where would you find that? It's not uh, like the local stores. Hershey's. Okay, health you've got like seventy three percent or something. No, or that's more not than, it. It's raw it? cacao. It's okay. unprocessed completely, and it's not cocoa cacao. It's where oh, okay. chocolate comes from. Chocolate is highly processed. Then you've got uh, goji berries. You can find those in grocery stores now. Goji berries are great for your mood, for the production of brain chemicals. You have fantastic one for hormone balance is maca, M-A-C-A, maca. It's a, a potato from Peru, grows at the highest altitude. And these foods have been known, and there's a whole list in my book, and I explain how they affect the body, but they're known to help in different cultures to lower our stress levels. And now they're available in health food stores. All right, do you practice what you preach? Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And I'll tell you, I'm 50, well, now 59, and my testosterone levels, because that's a big thing for men's health, are 25% higher than when I was in my 30s. And your average 40-year-old man, it's half. It starts going down. Well, obviously average 50-year-old you, man, it's Obviously, half. you're not hanging onto the couch with the remote. I mean, you're writing oh, no, all no, of these I books. Take, so I, I'm busy. You, I am busy, yeah. but I make sure I get some time on the couch. And men need that to rebuild their testosterone. Otherwise, they start aging. Or they don't work hard. Men have to work hard and they have to rest hard. Women need to talk more, share more, experience more fulfillment and happiness. When women do things that they like to do, that stimulates oxytocin, which lowers their stress. Stress. Should Very I just important. hang out with more women instead of men if my well, husband doesn't want to talk? Or yes, you should. Yeah, and I give lots <laughs> friends, of tips right? in there. You know? That's right. It's very men important friends, for women. women friends. Absolutely. Very, okay. very important. I just like the idea that, that you, the communication is still so important. But again, I like the, the nutritional el uh, element. They have to go hand in hand because yeah. communication helps produce brain chemicals, particularly for women. But if you don't have the right nutrients, then your brain doesn't make those brain chemicals. So you find that your communication isn't as fulfilling. 
All right, Venus on fire, Mars on ice. John? And since we're in the Bay Area yeah. where I live, I want people to know that I'm also teaching up at my ranch in Mendocino in about a month, March 17th, a whole weekend on these superfoods, nutrition, health, and relationships. That's, yeah, that's the way to get all of this information yeah. and really apply it. Yeah, and, like a and, whole and, weekend. Yeah. And you don't have to be a couple to come. Singles can come. A lot of women like come. That. It's like women's weekend. <laughs> okay. I'd love to spend a weekend with you, John. I bet it would be a You're lot welcome. of fun. You really understand. George, are you watching this? Anyway, John, thanks so much for <laughs> joining you. us today. Again, John Gray's new book, Venus on Fire, Mars on Ice, is available at your local bookstores and online. For more information, log on to MarsVenus.com, or you can follow Mars Venus on Twitter. Coming up, a Bay Area foundation that has been at the forefront of social justice issues in the state for 75 years. That's when Bay Sunday continues.